Hey everyone, this is Gary Kay, and uh, we've been counting down to Infocom, but you know what? The truth of the matter is not everyone is going to Infocom this year for obvious reasons, and there's a bunch of brands that won't be there, but they're still introducing products, uh, have introduced a lot of new products during the pandemic, and have also uh, having their own kind of events and webinars and things like that. And one of those companies is Christie. I mean, you're, you're in Canada, your your uh, your uh, you know world head global headquarters is in Canada, and uh, you know the world is just now start, starting to open up. I suspect that that even if had you planned on exhibiting, you'd have a hard time getting people to go, right? I mean, there's still you got people all over the world. It's not like you're just based in Orlando or California, right? No, that's for sure. In fact, well, actually, our, our global um, head office is actually in Cypress, California, but our biggest manufacturing facility has been in Kitchener, where I'm located, and our engineering department is mostly located here as well. But I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, there's so many people from around the world that represent Christie, like, you know, many other big manufacturers, but it's uh, going to be tough to, well, not going to be tough. We're not going to Infocom, unfortunately, because everybody is dying to get to, to see people again, re-engage and, and have a great time with people. But unfortunately, we're not going to be one of them this year. Well, there's there's a normally 900 exhibitors. There's going to be 250 maybe or so exhibitors. Wow. I'm I'm being joined by uh, the director of global enterprise marketing, Steve Capling. Steve and I go back a long way. We've seen. Remember the days when it used to take four hours, five hours to set up a projector. And now they're <laughs> almost plug and play. And there was a time when that was actually a thing. And Christy was, you know, a big manufacturer of CRT projectors. They actually oh, yeah. had the first single lens CRT projector. They did some really cool things. But now, yeah. you know what? You count up all the movie theaters around the world. There's a good chance if you've been to a movie in the last 10 <laughs> years, more than half of the time you've watched that movie on a Christie digital cinema projector. Uh, and that's really been a big part of uh, the develop, you know, the engineering, the, the way you've driven engineering because you have 4K native projectors all the way down to kind of anything that you want and anything you ever need, including the, uh, the, the, the M series. Yeah. I mean, you know, Christy has been manufacturing even film projectors since the sixties uh, yeah, and then right. we got into, I think we manufactured the first single CRT projector for business in the mid seventies and then got into color a couple of years later. So it's been, it's been a very long um, history that uh, of, uh, you know, in the AV industry. So it's, it's a pleasure to be part of that team and uh, that history. We've been around for 90 years now, actually over 90 years. It's it's a lot easier to go from the top down than the bottom up. So you didn't stop, start by making $300 projectors. You started by making $300,000 projectors. <laughs> and, and so you ported that quality down to the, the, the corporate market and to the, <clears throat> to the simulation market and the government market and to the obviously home theater and, and even digital cinema market. Let's talk about the M series because projectors are far from being dead. I mean, if you've seen all the immersive experiences at ad agencies, uh, music parks and corporate events have all used immersive technology. I mean, look, you'd have to be, uh, you know, living off the grid to know to not know about the Van Gogh exhibit and all these other kind of traveling yeah. immersive. So projectors far from dead. You've got this M series. Talk about that for just a second, because that's a pretty hot line. Sure. Actually, it's, it's pretty exciting. We just launched that back in September. And it, it has been, uh, you know, I mean, we launched the original M series back in 2007, I think, maybe 2008. I mean, it's a long time ago. We just discontinued that uh, family line of projectors back in December. It had, it was one of our most successful projector lines ever. And, you know, we had to follow it up with something that was equally as great. And we wanted to make sure it lived up to its name. And we also want to make sure that we added some features and benefits that were new. And we knew we had to come up with the latest and greatest technologies to, to support it. So, I mean, we've been asked for years from our customers, when you, when's the new M coming? When's the new M? Well, finally, it's here. The new Christie M 4K25 RGB. And it's a, it's a pure laser projector, of course. So you get the red, the green, and the blue lasers. And it is... Um, an all-in-one technology, which is, you know, another thing that Christy has actually put a lot of research and development into in our RGB technology um, development for the past number of years. I mean, the first one we did uh, a few years ago was similar to some of the uh, 
you know, other ones still available in the market, but it was, you know, an external um, laser rack and you yeah. had to have this giant refrigerator size yeah. rack, you know, and There's some benefits um, to that and trade-offs, obviously, because the benefit yeah. is it's not in the room with you, but the trade-off is it's big. That's right. So yeah. now, I mean, we've come from that to a D4K 43 years ago, which was yep. the first all-in-one at just under 300 pounds, and it was still omnidirectional and all-in-one with integrated cooling, et cetera. But now we've really, so we've taken that that focus or that development focus, I should say, and gone with, you know, we've come up with a Griffin, even last year, not many people have even seen the Griffin 4K32 RGB because it was uh, launched last year during Infocom that, of course, or was going to launch at Infocom, yeah. it didn't happen. Um, and now today, a year and a little bit later, we've got the Christie M4K25. And it is, you know, just to say the Griffin was 175 pounds at 32,000 lumens. And now the M4K25 is... 25,000 lumens at 92 pounds. That's amazing. It's and a single it, chip, right? No, it's a three chip. Three chip. Okay. Three chip system. Three so you're DLP. getting the quality of the three chip, yeah. but you just brought it down to a smaller package. Um, we did. We had to make it fit in the same rigging cage and use the same lenses too. So that was a big part of it. Um, and it was pretty surprising that, I mean, the original one was around almost 60 pounds just under 60 pounds this one is a little heavier but it still fits in very close to the same chassis yeah i guess i should have known that's three chip but obviously you have one chip as well and then led you know led is you know you were one of the first companies that showed um mini led technology in the form of the micro tiles led um i guess it was probably two years ago or three years ago at isc um, that's mind boggling. Like you know, micro tiles has a great brand first off, and then you take it and put it into the led format and it yeah. looks amazing, but you have a lot more than just that. I think everyone knows you for micro tiles led, but you have a lot more, uh, than just the micro tiles. Yeah. So, I mean, micro tiles, as you recall, I mean, we launched that original line of micro tiles back in 2009 and then I was at know, that launch in New York city. It was, yeah, you yeah. were, I was there as well. <laughs> yeah. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun and it was, you know, it was a great technology. I mean, we, we sold, you know, uh, 70 plus, I don't know, 80 plus thousand somewhere. It, it was a lot and yeah. it did really well in the industry. It became uh, very well recognized uh, in yeah. AV and digital signage and unique applications like that. And we had to bring that, uh, you know, that same legacy to, uh, to, or continue with that legacy when we evolution, had an evolution in technology and took it to LED. And today, you know, Microtiles LED has actually been around for three years now um, and really been super well known. Um, but we really changed what, you know, we, we had to, we want to make it front accessible like it was before. Yeah. But we had to offer better color and, and um, keep up with, you know, the capability. So, I mean, now we, we can offer 14 bit color with the Microtiles LED. You can actually, I don't know if you, I think it was early in 2020 that we actually um, launched uh, 3D active 3D capability for uh, micro tiles at 60 hertz per eye. So that was also a very um, big advantage for anybody that's looking to do 3D. And then, you know, we take, um, we, we uh, integrated or continued with a patented neighbor detection, our auto color matching. Um, it even has uh, the, the micro tiles even has P3 color performance with HDR10 compliance. And then with the type of design that's um, it's cabinet free and they're essentially like a click and go, they're magnetic yeah. tiles. I love that. So, and they're smaller. So they are a, a, being a smaller tile in itself allows you to do better curves and uh, tighter curves and tighter, um, well, concave and convex, but also yeah. Yeah. Uh, inside and outside corners as well. Yeah. And you've continued that quality uh, with the, the, the core series. So talk about the core series, uh, for a second. Well, the core series has been, um, you know, an entry level, uh, for us, uh, in led for some time, but we took that we had the core and the core plus, and now you have a core two, have, right? We have the core series two, yeah. and it's really about providing solid, strong performance, you know, at an entry level price. You know, and of course, I mean, pixel pitch has become increasingly smaller and more desirable for the last, you know, I mean, forever. I mean, that's what yeah. LED just continues to get smaller and small, smaller. So what we've done is we've actually added a 0.9 millimeter to our core series too. 
Okay. And um, so the, in addition to that, we also added more brightness. We wanted to make sure that we were a little bit uh, above what most of the competitors are offering in the same category. And our own core series two was also previously 600. So now the core two is 800. Um, we also, you know, we have onboard power redundancy and we've got some image enhancement features, you know, like clear view for, for sharpness, um, low brightness image enhancement for better detail in, in low lights and, and even thinner, it's actually much thinner. So uh, it's, it was always ADA compliant, but it's even thinner than it used to be. And then there's an integrated mounting system and we're now offering HD bundles for uh, all of them except for the 0.9, of course, the 0.9. So it's so a bundle uh, as in like all in one kind of solution. Yeah, like, like you just. So sizes, like starting at what, like 110 inches on up or what? what is it? Yeah, size? it's like okay. you pick whatever millimeter size you want yeah. above 1.2. Yeah. And uh, it's totally a complete exactly. package that you get the mounts, you get the kit, you get everything yeah. you need, the, con the, the controllers, all of that. And it's just uh, basically one skew. Yeah, and basically plug in HDMI and you're, you're off or plug in display port and you're off um so yeah. so let me ask you is is so it you went down to point nine that's not micro led it's mini led right isn't right. It, it, it because you have this fine pitch you have micro and then you have this thing in the middle that people are kind of now referring to mini led although i'm not sure i think it's really technically fine pitch but small fine pitch led yeah. um and uh, I want to get back to the projectors for a second, because in addition to the high end, you also have the Inspire series of product. A lot of people may not have noticed what's, uh, up, what's been updated with the Inspire series. So can you talk about that? Sure. And that's, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, you know, through this whole pandemic, I mean, uh, Christy, like many other manufacturers, you know, continued to just focus and buckle down and look at, well, you know, let's continue our development path. Let's move forward. You know, hope this is going to be over soon. Wasn't over, isn't over quite soon enough. But, um, you know, we launched the Inspire series back in June, along with the core series, along with yeah. the new Captiva as well. But the Inspire series is really uh, what I would call an impressive, uh, feature rich, rich, uh, professional grade one DLP projector. You know, it comes in for it's great projection technology for small to mid sized environments, you know, like boardrooms, classrooms. I and mean, of course, you mentioned like, you know, the Van Gogh, we didn't use it for that one, but like, you know, museum. Um, applications and things like that you know and it's fairly easy on your pocketbook so you know we were offering five models three different brightness levels and one's a ta model and then the other model is actually our it's a shortest row zoom lens available today um, and it's a 0.65 to 0.75 to one zoom lens uh, of course, it's a one DLP product. I think I mentioned that, but um, it's a motorized zoom lens, so you can adjust your zoom focus and your horizontal offset via remote control. And then it's 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 really quiet. It's you know it's great for you know near um, near audience applications. And one thing that we did uh, want to add, and we did add to this this sort of mid to lower to mid level product is make it more application friendly. So we integrated our Christy Twist. Christy Twist was a, yeah. you know, been one of the best industry um, uh, warping and blending software tools for a very long time. We don't talk about it much anymore, um, but we integrated Twist right into it. So you can actually, uh, out of the box, you can, you can blend up to six, uh, sorry, six Inspire series projectors and you can control up to 81 grid points on those six. So you ha have a lot more, um, you know, control for different surfaces. And then we also embedded Christy Mystique. And another thing we, this was something we launched last year was Mystique Light. And Mystique Light actually allows um, the operate. Well, so Mystique Light is an, it's an automated camera-based alignment yeah. software. And it's obviously for multi-projector arrays, yeah. but what it does, it does it automatically for you. You really, yeah. all you need is a-, a it's, it's mind boggling. Cube. I remember shooting the first demo of that four or yeah. five years ago, and it was mind boggling how quickly it worked and how accurate it was. Yeah, so it takes, it takes very, it's gotten faster and faster, which is great, um, but you, you can easily basically, you know, have your web camera look at the screen as long as it can see the whole screen, however many projector, well, in Mystique Light's case, it's only for three projectors in a horizontal array, yeah. and it's only for a flat surface. But I mean, if you wanted to use the Inspire series in a 
a unique application that required a little more um, warping and blending, at, you know, and you wanted to do six projectors or seven or whatever, then you can, you know, upgrade your Mystique to a higher level and do it all completely automated. And you know, what's um, interesting was, about that is those features, like the warping and the automation of uh, of, of um, image mapping, is <clears throat> those used to be all for rental and staging companies, but now we're no. using that stuff in permanent <clears throat> installs and uh and corporate applications digital signage now and there's a lot of ad hoc uh immersive environments that you see ad agencies doing things like that so th that's something that people should be aware of by the way and absolutely all of this, I, just, I put a link go ahead i just want to say like that's the thing about you know when you talk about you know some people in the you know av industry have been saying well you know projection has a limited life and but you know right now i mean there are flexible LEDs and things like that, but you can't do the same type of right. surface, 3D surface uh, blending and warping that you can do with projection. Right, yeah, I mean, that's, and I think what's, one of the things is, what I was gonna say is one of the things that's happened is people found out about LED and now they're using projection to do what, what they wanted to use LED for because it's a lot less expensive. <laughs> so yeah. I think they're like, I didn't know you could do stuff this big. And you're like, well, with projection, we can do it and it's less expensive and we can actually do it around the corners. Uh, so I think yeah. that they're playing really well together, the technology. Speaking of which, both technologies can use the Pandora's box, and you're up to version eight of that, uh, which is yeah. industry standard. I mean, everyone, every staging company, everyone who's doing that, that's dealing with that kind of image mapping and that size of a, a media player, everyone knows that everyone has it in stock. I'm going to put links to all this. Uh, all these different product lines in the description of this video cast. So if you want to find out uh, what's the latest with Christy, and of course you can reach out to Steve and his team at Christy, uh, obviously at steve.capling at christydigital.com. Did I leave anything else out, uh, Steve? Well, just to say for Pandora's Box version eight, I mean, I wanted to just share that this last little bit because version eight is a completely software-based platform. And the nice thing about that is, you know, everything, all of the features that you can get with Pandora's Box version eight now are available in a software-based system or so, solution so that if you already have, you know, if there's operators that are using custom hardware systems of their own, they can integrate it onto that system without having to buy the Pandora's Box server or the player, you know, so it it allows for more, you know, it's it's a more diverse product for for. To allow what OS to, does it? Is it compatible with? I mean, like, how do you can't just put it on any com, any computing device, can you? Uh, I I I have to tell you, I'm not 100 percent sure on that one. That's a great question. I but believe. It, but you're saying that you can take the Pandora's box software and put it on any of the existing players that they might have in stock that would handle that kind of data. Yes. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link that as well, because I'm curious about, I did not realize it was completely software-based. So it's not cloud-based, it's software-based. So no, ultimately yeah. you're replacing the OS that exists in whatever system that they're using now. And I assume it's upgradable for all your legacy systems as well. Uh, I think it's only upgradable back to, oh boy, I, I hate to say this. I mean, you're going to have to have a certain resolution, obviously, and capability. Yeah, and in, in it's only back uh, compatible with, one or two versions i'm not yeah. sure what that is exactly but yeah what well, gives there, you a reason a to talk to your christy rep <laughs> because Absolutely. these are questions they should know off the top of their head yeah. not me and steve <laughs> but that's right that's we're here to tell you <laughs> the point is version eight is out and yeah. you should check this out because uh obviously if you're if you're in the staging margaret you're building anything with large imaging if concerts and i mean just you know everything everywhere you go nowadays everything is big 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 um, yeah, and uh, congratulations times. on all these immersive exhibits. More time than not, when I look them up, they're Christie projectors, <laughs> and, and all all these places I go uh, are filled with Christie projectors. So obviously, you're doing your job. Well, um, yeah, <laughs> we're happy to hear that. Uh, as you know, as every manufacturer that hears their the technology has been integrated into it. But yeah, we, we you know, we, as you can see by my uh, background, I mean, we've done a lot of large scale uh, spectacular events, whether they're sporting or concerts or otherwise. Yeah. And that's really a, one thing that, you know, we offer one 3DLP projection technology, even laser phosphor as well. It's a great technology, but, you know, we have a plethora of technologies that are really made for almost any type of application and any budget.
Yep. So you got LCD, you got LED, you got uh, three chip DLP, one chip DLP. We didn't talk about the LCD, but you obviously still have the LCD display uh, line as well. So uh, you've got every technology uh, available and digital signage, corporate, government, military, uh, education. You got all the markets. Got, of course, rental staging we've been talking about as well. Steve yep. Capling, this is good to catch up because, and I'm sorry you're not going to be at uh, Infocom. It's, it's, it's a little unusual and sad because you've always been a big supporter of what we've done at Infocom, been a big sponsor of our coverage, but we're still going to do the show. Obviously we're doing it in a smaller way as well. Um, but we're, we're glad to bring this to everyone during replay week, the week after Infocom so that people know what all these manufacturers are doing and keeping up with everyone out there. And of course we'll see Christy at ISC. Um, they'll have a big presence at ISC in Barcelona in February. As long as everything's open back up, that's the, asterisk we have to put next to every statement nowadays but uh <laughs> steve true. it was good to catch up with you yeah likewise gary thanks for having me i appreciate it yeah and we were talking to steve capelin director of global enterprise marketing at christy digital so everyone thanks for watching of course check out christy at christydigital.com don't forget that's where they are Ray Ray. With Ray.